Servus, welcome back everybody. So today we are actually finally getting to the end of Jenny Le Crew. I think at least. If it's gonna go on way too long, I might make it two episodes, but I actually plan on finishing this all in one go. I have no idea how much is left, so we'll just see about that. And I'm not fate. Why? Why? Why are you having me decide who's dying? I'm sorry. I just have so much, so much stuff lying in front of me. I should have cleaned up before I started this. Who dies? I don't want to decide. Dean, Je we're not killing Jenny. That would be very sad. The Dean. Jenny's mom was acting super suspicious, but I don't want to kill Jenny's mom. Just because to me being like losing my mom would like be worst case scenario in life. Um I'm already dreading the day she's gonna die of old age or something like that. Um but for now I think I'm sorry, I love the Dean. He's so cute, but like he was kind of dead the whole series, so we may have just started a catastrophe. I need to kill more than one person. Wait. Oh no, okay. I kill one person and then I exit. Okay, okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Fate has spoken. But is she certain? Once the choice is made, there's no turning back. I am certain. Sadly, I wish you didn't make me do that. Well, that was easier than I thought. It's the only way the scene can end. The ending the book deserves. That is not how you're feeling, Arthur, and I can tell. That is so not your feelings. Those aren't mine either, actually. Stupid Richard. Ahem. <laughs> As I was saying. What was that? No more interruptions. The tremors were getting more violent and more frequent. Please, I'm in the middle of my astonishing denouement. Everyone in town thinks CJ is crazy. A madman spouting wild theories about aliens and hidden forces at work in Arthurton. But all the strange phenomena he's seen are real. And the culprits are men, not monsters. What do I know about Arthurton's secret history? Uh, yeah. I think the fears, fears are important. Yeah, the Council of Three is also important. I'm making this deduction. Atherton is built on top of some kind of energy source. Something special. I uncovered the secret laboratories of Professor Zazer. He ran experiments to study the unique properties of Atherton's resource. And his research was funded by a shady organization called the Council of Three. One of the experiments went tragically wrong and caused the collapse of the quartz mines. They covered it up and blamed the miners. And yet the experiments didn't stop. Instead, they built an even bigger facility. Years after the accident in the mines, an even greater tragedy struck Arthurton. Only this time, the townspeople didn't know. 
I don't fully understand it, but something happened to the whole town. And wherever we were, we aren't there anymore. The rest of the world thinks we disappeared. At first I thought I was solving two separate mysteries, but then it hit me like a ton of used books. The two were inextricably linked. And that's how I know your motive for staging the Dean's death. Why did Mom and Dean Strawberry stage the Dean's death? My dad? What is that saying? I can't read it. Don't let anyone work in that lab. It's a death trap. Oh, it's that one. Why did they say to Dean's death? Because he can open that door maybe? That might be horribly wrong. Dad wasn't working for university, he was working on Zazer's machines, all under the watchful eye of the Council of Three. The Dean is part of the Council of Three, or at least he works for them. His ring hides a key to access secret stations around town. After my dad's suspicious death, Mom confronted Mr. Strawsberry. Wrecked with guilt, he confessed and begged for her forgiveness. He revealed the truth about the Council of Three. Instead of letting anger cloud her judgment, Mom saw an opportunity, and together you conco concocted a plan to bring down the organization from the inside. What a brilliant mind you have, Jenny LeClue. Julie, I believe you underestimated this girl. You could have gotten yourself killed. But I didn't. But, but what if you had? I am not a kid anymore. I have to make my own choices. A flower cannot blossom without light. Jenny had risked everything to save her mom. I... I'm sorry, Jenny. Fine, she's our mother. We forgive her. You are running out of time to save Mr. Strawberry. I was trying to protect you. I know. Oh. I should have trusted you. But you were wrong. I just apologized. No, not about that. Everyone presumed Dad died in the lab explosion. So did I, until today. But then I started finding secret messages all over town. They led me to a secret room underneath the graveyard, and there, on a small television, I saw him. Henry? Dad is alive, but he's trapped on the other side, and he's been trying to contact us this whole time. He made it back? Then the experiment worked! Exactly! But if he made it back, that means we can all get back. We need to get the machine right away. No! First, we need to find Professor Zazer. How deep inside is our problem? Was I that deep down? No, I wasn't. Uh, should I have taken any notes? Choose wisely. Emergency release. One, two, three. Isn't it always the red button? It's the green. I like the blue. Pulling the lever? 
What's behind door number three? Yeah. Death? Destruction? A new car? Who knows? Ooh, that's big sphere. That is the one underneath the lake, right? Or in the lake. This does not look good. What did I just do? To be continued! In loving memory of my mom, unfearing 1945 to 2018. Thank you for playing. We hope you enjoyed the journey. And remember, a great detective leaves no puzzle unsolved. Until next time, Joe and Ben. A game by Joe Russ and Ben Tillett. You guys did an amazing job with this one. Duchess of Arts and Finley. Even had interns, that's nice. That's really nice. Starter, yeah, okay. I, I hadn't heard until this game, I just saw it on Steam recently and I thought this looks so cool, I really want to play this. But you can't just... Oh, Tilly! What a cute dog. You can't just leave me hanging in the air like that, though. Okay, so this was way shorter than I thought it would be because... I was actually already kind of suspicious because okay we found the thing about our dad we still have no idea about the man in black about the council of three so there were a lot of open questions I was wondering how they were all gonna solve that in like the next hour or so but you can't just leave me with like this massive cliffhanger what would the other doors would have done what, what I can't even English anymore. Like, what would have happened if I chose any other... If I had chosen any other switch? I'm kind of speechless right now. And also I'm wondering, do I need to buy the next game? Is the next game gonna remember my choices in the first one? Is it all linked via Steam? I don't even know if that's a possibility. I have actually no idea how Steam works. Um... But yeah, that was a journey. I loved this game a ton. I had so much fun playing it. Thank you very much developers for developing this, coming up with this huge idea. Thank you for all the Kickstarter backers who made that a possibility. Thank you Steam for my last achievement. The end. We did it. Thanks so much to everybody who worked on this. It was so good. I had such a blast. and. The graphics were amazing. I love the art style, it looked so pretty. You did an amazing job at color grading, the environments, the music production was on point. This was just an overall really awesome experience. I really encourage all of you guys to play this yourself, support the developers by this game on Steam. I will link it down in the description below. I had such a blast. I know I keep repeating myself again and again, but it was so good. Okay, but enough about that. This was a very, very short episode. But nonetheless, I will take this as an opportunity to get some rest because actually I got sick yesterday, so I kind of really feel like taking a long nap before I record my next playthrough. I actually haven't decided what we're going to play tomorrow, so look forward to that. It's going to be a surprise. And yeah, I will see all of you then. Bye, guys.